Oi boys, welcome back, welcome back to another video on the channel. We are back with the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs. Getting ready to take on the Panthers here. Fresh off a dub ski in State of Origin Game 1. Both Burton and the Fox. Fox actually scoring a hat trick if you didn't watch it. But yeah, both the lads had good games. We're coming into this facing stiff competition in the Panthers. We got Burton going up against Nathan Cleary. Oh, real quick while we run out, next round will be recruitment. So go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comment section. What are we looking for here? Are we looking for a fullback? Are we looking for someone else to partner Burton? I'm going to have to go back a few episodes and uh, check other suggestions as well. Round 13, Matt Burton to get us underway. Beauty, another afternoon game. As they get off to a decent start here, a little drawing pass to start the game. James Fisher Harris. Little fin from Isaiah Yo. Should be a good game, regardless of how Penrith are doing at the moment. They still have a fairly stacked squad. High rated players and all that. As Dylan Edwards gets around one. All there to clean. Two plays to go. And they're fairly close to the try line now. Inside the 20, 55 meters gained. You know, <laughs> we are destined to be consumed by the darkness. All right, we need this kick to be perfect from Flano. Actually, never mind. We would have definitely lost it. He was pretty flat. All right, good clearance. Problem is, we have Toto on the return. Oh, yellow. Of course. Of course. Oh, he's going to get run down, is he? Nope. Brian to all too quick. Damn, that's tough on the return too. Right in front, easy to. And that is six points to the Penrith Panthers inside the first 10 minutes. Solid off the points. We got Tavita Pangai. He gets clobbered. Flano running off Vaughn. We find Burt and we put him through. And he's eventually taken. I want the quick play of the ball. And the shift down the short side. He's offside. He couldn't resist. He could not resist. That's a good penalty. Let's go. Time to cook, baby. Time to cook. So inside the 30. Paul Vaughan trying to squeeze through. Got Tomo here. We want to play behind. Get it out to our edges. They've been super effective in the past. Especially Corey Allen. As Flano failing to let that one go. They do set up the Marshall King. This has been working these past few weeks. We'll try it here with the Bulldogs. Where's the chase? Right there. Aaron Shop. Come on now. If you haven't noticed these past few gameplay videos, we are trying to score in different ways using the shapes available in game. And that's one of them. The chip kick. We're trying to implement it in uh, several set plays. It works well, especially at the try line with that particular play. As we nail this and we tie it up. Alright, how's the stamina looking? Paul Vaughan getting down there. Everyone else is pretty good. Oh, that kick is awful. Oof. Through the middle. Nope. Nothing doing. Fourth. They want the inside. We want the inside, but we're going to play out. Good ball. Corey Allen pins his ears back and finds support. Not quite who we wanted, but we get over. I actually didn't want it to go that far in field. I was trying to hit Karaz and trying to draw on those defenders. But we get, we get the points. You know, Kyle Flano been a bit of a try scorer for us. That's 12 points to 6. 13 to go. Get us out the mud. Vaughn. <sighs> oh, and he's going to carry us over. Man, that's trash, bro. That is trash. We've been dominating. And it takes one big hit to change momentum. As Cleary converts, we'll lock that 12. Ooh, the darkness. The darkness. These lads are rolling. That's fourth and 40. Our 40. Little inside ball. Oh, we're offside. 12 or. Oh, kill him. Probing. That's good forward by Brian Toto. Gets within centimeters. Running on to it. 
As Api Kuroisa, that doesn't come any easier. He essentially catches it right on the try line. We hang back, he drags us over. We rush up, the ball beats us. All right, so at the break, what a game it's been. Pretty uh, pretty eventful. Uppy scoring two tries, Brian Toll scoring one, Aaron Shop and Flano for us. And it's Penrith with the slight lead, 18 points to 12. As far as stats are concerned, they've had slightly more time in possession. Uh, we've made three errors, they've made one. Both conceded a penalty. We've only missed four tackles too, which is pretty good. To Penrith's one and both teams, nine line breaks. Like I said, it's been a great contest. What we should do since we're consumed by the darkness right now, we should just commentate the endless voice. That would be pretty creepy. Imagine. Not the greatest. Dr. Clay with the clearance. Edwards on the return. Try to give him space. Cause you just know a sidestep's coming. That's a powerful run. Last play. Gotta keep him out. They've converted every time they've come down here on the last. That is too deep. No. <sighs> it's a tough, tough set coming up. Look at that, third. Still on the 10. Why does this feel like Penrith in real life? Just suffocating us. Look at the kick. A full set inside the 40. I feel caged right now. Who's this Max King already tired? We could just possibly give the two away. No, well, never mind. Happy could always sell. We'll score his third. Of all players to score a Hattie. That's another carry over the line for him. Another try. And Penrith go up by 12. I think the next break in play, the lights should turn back on. That's Liam Martin. Looks for a tough carry. Tackle just beyond the 30. Oh, Quick yeah. hands down the short side. Defenders get split. They've been such a handful with ball in hand. Got to make our final changes too. Let's bring in Tomo. We can also bring in our boy Marshall King. Let's play. They go to Fisher Harris. <laughs> of course we stuff it. Just quietly, that was a pathetic way to try crack the line. They set up though to the right. Two decoy runners. We try to put Corey Allen through the gap. But they do a good job jamming up. On our boy, Karras from dummy half. Looking for space. There it is. Dylan Edwards. No, that's a clear lane, baby. You can always rely on a bit of speed to get us out of trouble. Jacob Karras, who's had a Pretty good World Cup show. I don't know if you've been watching the World Cup, but he's been pretty good for Lebanon. As we get within six, ten to go. Pressure moments. We need a, a miracle at this point. Luai on the last. A ricochet. No, not the Lynn Edwards. And that just chewed up the clock. This is it. One play to pull the win out of a hat. Marshall King finds space. Offload Burton to shop. Oh, the interception. What a play to shut it down. Full time, full time. Unfortunately, we couldn't pull this one back. Uh, we came close. 18 points to 24. And look how close the game was on paper. We had slightly more time possession. Both teams ending with 11 from 14. Uh, both making four errors. One foot already conceded. And both on 17 line breaks. How good. But yeah, like I said, unfortunately, we couldn't get the dub. The Panthers' defense ended up being the difference, as always. If you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league-related content, or more content in general, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to run straight that like button. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you.